Hi, Sherry. We'll be starting in a couple of minutes. I go. Right, we'll make a start, shall we? It's alright Wayne, I've got something specific for you here. If you keep watching. So we all know you get a bit bored with watching people stream. Unless there's something pretty to watch. So this is the second hospital that we were in, which I've maxed out to the three stars now. So I've, all I've done is rearranged it a bit, added some new decorations and stuff in, and added a few new doctors and rooms and stuff to max it all out. So this is all three stars now, everything's updated, so we can make a start on Hospital 3. So 
So just for Wayne, in case he gets bored, I have this just to keep his attention. There you go, Wayne, are you happy now? That's just for Wayne, it's not for anybody else. So, Hospital 3 is Blottering, which is where we learn all about training people. Maintenance announcement. Bins will become full. So, staff development. To get the most out of our staff, we'll need to train and promote them. When somebody has gained enough experience on the job and had some more training, they'll be ready for promotion. By promoting them, their skills increase and they'll be able to learn a new qualification. They might also want a pay rise. Firstly, though, we'll need a training license. Two Point Health Ministry has promised to grant us a license if we can demonstrate our commitment to staff well-being here in Flottering. Yeah, you'll have to continue watching if you want to see it again, Wayne. It's your incentive. So, going to get the hospital to level 4, hire 7 staff, get a morale of 55%. So, make a welcome area first. So we need a couple of assistants. Hygienic likes to argue dismissed by the Over Foundation for cuboidal behaviour. What qualifications have they got? Motivated, stamina, promotional custom service. Yeah, screw this one, he's a bit stupid. Inspiring, has potential, gets stuck on boss fights, so We'll hire that one. And we'll get Hardy Vape as well. So there's our two assistants. We're going to need GP's office. So make it a bit bigger on this one. And if we've got some points to play around with, I'll add some extra stuff in as well. So. In his desk, filing cabinet, and a bin. Put some hand sanitizer up and give him a bookcase for some reading. And before Manu starts complaining, then I'll give him some plants as well. So, still got the half sand. Right, we'll put a gnome in. Everybody has to have a gnome. Now we can go there. What other stuff can we give him? We've got banana phone, tomato clock. Let's give him a banana phone in case of emergencies. We've got weighing scales, putting green, coffee machine. Everybody wants a coffee machine. Put you there next to the door. Hi, Brina. Um, what else do we need? Trophy case. Skeleton. Aquarium. Stuff in here. We'll get him a rug. A fancy rug for his around his desk. What else shall we get him? I'm gonna get him some pets. Do you want to unlock it for eight? Yeah, get him a little aquarium. 
There we go. And then last of all, we'll give him some posters just to spruce the room up a bit. We want to try and get the room to four star if we can. There we go, level four. That'll do for our GP's office. Um, no, your starting money for the levels is always the same, Sherry. So because we're in a third hospital, we get more money to start with. Benches. We always need more benches. We'll stick some decorations down first. Now for benches. There we go, that looks alright. So, I'm going to be lazy and copy and paste this room to the other side. The only thing I should need to do is... There we go, re-add windows. Boom, two GP offices. Stick some more leaflets down for people who've got something to read. And a bin, even though they're just going to dump rubbish on the floor anywhere, anyway. And some more benches. There we go, so there's our two GP's offices. May as well start things off. Right. So we also need. Pharmacy, general diagnosis, cardiology. Oh yeah, we're gonna need staff room and toilets out. Let's build those next. Still got plenty of room over here for everything else. So staff room. Yeah, Sherry. If it wasn't for my hay fever, I'd have plants everywhere. So, give them some couches, a couple of punching bags in case they get angry, drinks machine, snacks machine, should be able to put a coffee in here as well, yeah. Coffee maker, and a bin. My hippopotamus oath, Brian. Nah, I never took it. it. Means I can harm the patients as much as I like, as long as it fixes them in the end. Well, that might just be because I've been watching a lot of house lately. Right, so we need a couple more decorations for here. Oh, we still need to put a gnome in here somewhere. Um, where can we fit one? There we go, gnome. Put some rugs down. There we go, level four. There's a staff room. And we'll build some toilets as well. Toilets. Mm 
load a couple of sinks in, a couple of hand dryers. Gonna let me fit that in? Don't think it is. Ah, we can put hand sanitizer there. That'll do. Put a plant, and we'll just smack it in the middle because it doesn't really matter. So when you're getting bored, there you go, Brian. I've got this set up just for Wayne for when he gets bored. A couple of extra bits in here. I need to fit a gnome in somewhere. Gnome can go there. There's our toilets. Oh yeah, we don't actually have any doctors yet, do we? That'd be an idea. Pack a bag. Grab a fork and don't forget your eating shoes because you're I have some on a trip with Chef Ricky. So this guy is max yes, out. It's me, Ricky Hawthorne. And today I'll be taking your taste buds. What's it? Green fingers, charming. I'm talking about some of my psychiatrist, he's got a diagnostic, he's got a GP. Damn and good bedside manner. He's brilliant. Keep him. So Next up we have just this guy. He's a litterer, but he's pretty decent. Good bedside manner, good at treatment as well, so you'll do. So now we need ward. Let's put a nice sized ward. How big is this area? Your eight wide. So I can go three. Five. Yeah, I can do that. Nurse station. Changing room. Uh, we'll put a bunch of beds in. Be easier that way. Yeah, we'll put four beds in. Put your bed screens, put some lockers in for them to keep their stuff in. Monitors in, you can check up on the patients. Filing cabinet for patient records. Need a bin for all the rubbish. And we need some plants to keep it pretty. Sneak a gnome in somewhere. There we go. Put some posters up as well. Or have we got some nice paintings we can put up in here? Ooh, pods. I have not seen these before. They're basically giant beds. How well do they work? Cures and diagnose. Right. Screw that, get rid of the beds. We are having the fancy sci-fi pods instead. There. Nurse's station. Changing room. Pods. Oh, 
thought you could fit more of those easy in easier as well. It's miles better. So we'll have Star Trek pods in there. But we'll still put a couple of wall monitors in. Some lockers for their stuff. Filing cabinet. In. Still need some plants. And then some posters. Do what I always do and allow an extra person in the ward. So we can always have two staff in the ward. And here we'll need a nurse. Got unmotivated. Suffers from spontaneous bounce of snoozing. Unnerved by rabbit. She's rubbish. We get high energy and sarcastically frames trivial things and Emotional intelligence, you'll do. But now we've got a ward. We need pharmacy, psychiatry, and we need the two labs. So we'll get the pharmacy first. Windows in. I think having it. And then some plants in. Let's move this round a bit. I can make one of them dock breeder if you want. I will change it in a second. I'll just finish off this room. Hand sanitizer in here. Uh, can't get a medicine cabinet. Put a notice board up in here. Some drawings from the kids. coffee machine in here? Yeah we can. And where's my little gnome gone? Can I even get gnomes in here? Better be able to. Can't. That's rubbish. Right, let's put some posters up again. There we go, we have Doc Brina. And what outfit shall we give you? Hi Katie! We'll make Doc Brina the werewolf, shall we? You want to be the werewolf, Brina? Doctors Breeder and Arox working in our GPs at the moment. So 
so we've got our ward, we've got our pharmacy, GP's offices, we still need psychiatry, cardiology and general diagnosis. Let's stick a psychiatry room in here. So For this, we've got cases, got rugs. Can still put a gnome in here. Give him that little corner. Um, what else? Firepress, diagnostics. Can't afford those. We'll get a changing stream for in here. It'll at least look fancy. Right. Like, even though it's a training screen, I've got a window there so people can see anyway, but who cares? Put a couple of bookcases in. Give him some plants. Um, we'll give him a rug as well. Give him a coffee maker in case he gets tired. And then, always need hand sanitizer, and we need a bin in here somewhere as well. Not that they ever use the bins. And then put a couple, of, put up a couple of posters. Uh, Rorschach ink blot. There we go, room four. Right, let's get people in there, shall we? We'll start it all off. Need to put some more benches and stuff down, so. New illness discovered, verbal diarrhea. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, verbal diarrhea. The disease people can't stop talking about. Verbal diarrhea spreads fast and can be heard for miles. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Right. Some benches there. I need some decorations around here as well, won't we? Doctor required in psychiatry. some leaflets put a bin down even though they'll never use it and then lots of benches you need moving along a bit Bed face discovered. Our, our doctors have discovered a new illness, bed face. A quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. We'll send the patient for treatment in our ward. What's that, Brina? You want to get paid more than Alex, but Alex is about a hundred times more qualified than you are look at staff. Doctor, we've got Dr. Alex. He's a psychiatrist, he's a specialist GP, we've got good bedside manner, he's got extra stamina and then we've just got you with treatment and bedside manner. If you get a few more qualifications we might up your pay a bit but for now you can stay where you are. Oh, 
But yeah, this level is the level where we start giving people new qualifications and stuff. So, Doc Breener's pay will go up a ton once he starts getting more qualifications and stuff. Could do with another nurse as well. Literal thinks cartoons are good, right? I'm not bothered about Literal because they all just drop rubbish in here. So, still need a general diagnosis, we still need cardiac. Cardiology. So we fit both here. I'm sure one of these is a four by four room. Oh no, they're both three by three. That should be alright then. So general diagnosis. Your scanner in your bed. Some windows so everybody can watch you getting tested. And then. Island cabinet and a bin. We need a fire extinguisher. Some plants to make it pretty. Hand sanitizer. A new disease. No. Oh. oh, it's gonna make me cancel it, isn't it? Ah, oh, well, we'll finish the room first. Put a notice board up. And some kids' drawings. And celebrity photo. What else have we got? Uh, just past us for now. No soiling the hospital. Put some banners up. There we go. So you'll do for now, let's have a look what we've got here. So new illness, misery guts discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, misery guts. Chronic grumpiness due to a nihilistic semicolon. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. And Keith Mullock wants a promotion. Yeah, I'll give him that. And new illness, Freudian lips discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, Freudian lips, a tendency to pout excessively when faced with a camera caused by a build-up of lewd thoughts in the cerebral cortex. Psychiatrists must use a subconscious trap tap to drain the excess thoughts into a beaker, which they can be safely disposed of in an incinerator. We'll send the patient for treatment in our psychiatry. Hi, Chua. So, we've got general diagnosis, now we need cardiology. So, there's the running machine or the treadmill. I'll also recommend trying their a wall monitor up. Aioli, mixed in barrels you mean this is invalidated? There. Maintenance announcement. Need cabinet. The bin. I'm alright, Trevor. Had a lazy ish day at work just doing emails all day again. Hundreds of them. But I've got about 70 odd left emails to do now. They just keep piling in. Punch bag up. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, fire extinguisher. Because this thing can light on fire. We need. Let's put some fish in here as well. And then some more posters, because everybody loves having posters in their rooms. Yeah, it is mind numbing after a bit. Right, luckily I've got other stuff to keep me occupied through the day, but. 
mainly doing emails, just your brain melts after a short while. So we've got general diagnosis, we've got our cardiology, what else do we need? Two of those, we've already got a fight. Already got a ward. <gasps> Kill it. Uh, we've got a psychiatry, we've got a staff room, we've got toilets. It's just the clinics we need now. So, deluxe clinic. Windows in. Nurse needed in general diagnosis. Give them a bin and some plants. Move you over a bit. There. Um, we'll need some hand sanitizer because everywhere needs hand sanitizer. Headed posters. Stick a notice board in here as well. That'll do for now. Why did you get rid of that poster? Should you think? Got here. We've got staff challenges from Dr. Brino. Wants us to cure 10 patients in 90 days. So we should be able to do that. Group of ward patients have been stranded after a Bongal Meditech hospital imploded and are now looking for further treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group of patients. So we have them sent here. We'll cure 8 potion patients with monobrow. Yeah, we'll have those. And our doctors have discovered a new illness, monobrow. Extreme hair growth caused by excessive consumption of both highbrow and lowbrow entertainment. The monobrow must be carefully removed and placed in a secure container to prevent it from escaping. We'll send the patient for treatment in our ward. There we go. That there is an escaped monobrow. It's dead now. And I've just realised it's still there because we don't have any janitors yet. So let's get some. So we need somebody who could deal with ghosts, because somebody's inv inevitably going to die. So, green fingers, boring, but they're a teacher. Nurse to the pharmacy. And they're good at maintenance. Yeah, we'll have you. The great news, Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a training license. This will allow us to train staff in all of our hospitals. Building a training room allows you to run a training course. Staff with a tree fruit, sorry, staff with a free training slot can go on a course to learn a new qualification. So we'll build a training room in a second once we've got the. Beware, clowns! Fluttering has had a bit of a problem recently. Clowns, they're everywhere. Apparently, they keep escaping from the traveling circus. Their hijinks can be a real nuisance. We'll need some new equipment to deal with them. The Orb Foundation have patented a method for recalibrating the minds of clowns, supporting their re rehabilitation back into society. They have offered us, offered to supply us with the necessary equipment if we can demonstrate our ability to mould our own staff. Sounds a bit sinister to me, but who am I to judge? So, we've got to train somebody to get a clown clinic. First, we need this pans lab. And you are 4x4, four four, so if we buy any more property around here, we can. Buy this one first. Maintenance announcement. Plants Maybe we'll put a training room here. Our training room. We'll be able to train up our staff to make them better. So we need 
lectern for the lecturer. How many seats? Probably fit six in there. Yeah, there we go, six seats. Filing cabinet. Always need hand sanitizer. down and we'll put a plant in to keep Mano happy. Oh, another monobrow. So training, to start a training course click on the lectern or drop a suitable member of staff into the room. Staff will also request training when they're ready. In the training suit screen select the qualification you want your staff to learn and assign a trainer and select the staff you wish to send on this course. When you're ready click the star button. When picking a trainer you can use your own staff choosing one of their qualifications to teach or you can pay extra to bring in a guest trainer. Yeah, there. So we've got a new illness pandemic, involuntary attachment to kitchen utensils, Caused by extremely low levels of culinary skill. The pan must be carefully removed with a massive magnet. Patient is seeking treatment. We will need a pan's lab in order to treat them. It'll cost 20 grand to build. So we'll get them to wait because we'll build it in this new area. So, rooms, pan's lab. Pan's lab is 4 by 4 So we'll put it on this side a big this area with five four by four so there's our extractor pan been in there fire extinguisher in case it sets on fire hand sanitizer because you always need hand sanitizer some plants to keep it pretty and a coffee maker in case they get tired <gasps> somebody died where are you there he is treatment failed Is he going to turn into a ghost? Yep, we got a ghost as well. Janitor's right there to take care of him. Get a patient to wait for a clown clinic. We'll build one of those now. We build one? We can, yeah. But I think we've got one of everything else, so... Some more staff, really. Has been removed due to a dispute between what have we got here? Radio and the producer of Jumbo Nuts. Oh, wait, hang on, it shouldn't actually say Jumbo Nuts. Tie is easily scholar and a gentle person. Okay, great. Unhygienic. No, we're not having that. This is two point Go next door. Cheese for brains. No. Inspiring class clown. Yeah, we'll have you. Tarquin Foxbridge has sent us a handwritten note following his visit to the hospital. I'm thrilled to see that you've succeeded in executing my 117 step plan for ideal healthcare. What an excellent plan it was. And he's given us a few rewards, some extra cash and some extra points to spend. So, we need more nurses. A natural mentor, slightly above average, above average spice tolerance and they're good in the ward. So we'll have a wait. You working in the ward, shall we? We have angry, inspiring, or natural mentor, hygienic, charming, with motivation. Yeah, we'll have you. 
Build their mono brow. Got it. A special report. Well done, we've cured enough of the patient group. This has helped our reputation and we've been sent a reward. Cure eight patients. We cured five of them. What? We got a reward from it? And well done, we successfully completed the request from Doc Brina. We had ten patients. Right. We can upgrade our drug mixer, but we'll wait first because we need some more decorations around the hospital. So first of all, plants. Put some by the front doors. Sounded like another death then, was it? No, apparently not. Plenty of plants. Snacks and drinks machines. Another one. Got it. Snack machine. Snack machine. Snack machine and some salty snacks. And then we'll put a couple of bins down. So I've got a snack aisle now. So, Annabelle Quack, a student nurse. Annabelle Quack has a request for us. I've always wanted to see a large sum of money in person. I just don't want to roll around in it or anything. I'm not weird. I just want to look at it with my eyes. She wants us to earn 100 grand. Yeah, we'll do that. Brina wants a promotion. I could have guessed up his salary a bit seeing as he's getting promoted as well. It does 30 grand do you Brina? There. So more benches. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. I'm sure you've heard of smoking food, but have you heard of smogging food? It's all the rage down in, you guessed it, smogly. While it may be an acquired taste, if I've learned anything about food over the years, it's that acquired tastes are always the fanciest, and therefore, the best. There we go, we've got some more waiting room. Patient is giving up waiting for a clown clinic. Yeah, you can wait. I don't care, I'm gonna make you wait until I've got one. So, more plants. Put some leaflet stands in. Benches for people waiting. Doctor to psychiatry, please. Bin down there. And even more benches. So, probably do with a couple more doctors and stuff now. Why are you all highlighted red?
Weird. They apparently thought they were invalid items, but no. some training we've got enough now who do we want to train trainees available Let's train Breener up shall we and we'll give him yeah, let's give him psychiatry so we can get Arax to train him teaching speed 140% but that takes them both out of working, or this guy's teaching speed is 160%. It'll cost me 15 grand, but it means I can have Alex still working. So we'll get the guest trainer in. We'll get Breener trained up as a psychiatrist. Oh, another dead person? Where are you? Oh no. Even a ghost as well. In pharmacy. Yeah, we got another ghost. Molly Codpiece. Immediately scare the crap out of people. Another mono rare dead. Right. What do people look like in these pods? Try not to slip in the sick. Uh, pretty much the same as they do in the beds. Not much different. So staff training required. Gertrude Bapp has gained lots of experience to the job. They'll be ready for a promotion to a junior janitor once they've completed some training. Right, so can't train them just yet, but we will in a second. Okay, the pods are quite cool. Speed things up a bit, shall we? coming in see if we won any awards I know for a fact we've not got the no deaths one so get this bit so we got doctor of the year Brina you are doctor of the year but nurse of the year rising star for Alex we got employer of the year and we've got the most prestigious hospital. So we've missed out on patients, choice, best teaching and no deaths. But they've given us plenty of extra cash and stuff to play with. So staff promotion. Another quack. Yep, you can be promoted. You failed to get the hundred grand. Brina has finished his training. Brina is now a psychiatrist as well. Right. We've now got the clown clinic. Let's build one. Clown uh, clinic is here. Oh, 
No worries. Right. So. Hand sanitizer. Need some plants to make it pretty. Uh, what else do we need in here? Ah, the oh, this cool stuff. The cannon. Wonder, the crown jewel of because a cannon is the best thing to have in a hospital. So captivating about a crustacean that you can get some circus lights. The shells are incredibly useful. Makes place look a bit prettier. I have one at my home that I use as a rather tasteful fruit bowl. Um, some hay bales. And do we have a gnome we can put in here? Or have I just like maxed out the gnomes or something? Yeah, all the norms have gone. Not fair. Right. This we'll have to do then. So, let's find somebody. Oh, I think it was an emergency straight away. The group of clowns who were waiting for treatment at an Orb Foundation Wellness Center have left because it was too strange for them. They're now looking for treatment elsewhere. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group. Should we have them sent here? Yes. A new illness, Mime Crisis discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, Mime Crisis, a psychiatric condition that causes the sufferer to perceive things that don't exist, usually boxes within which they are trapped. Sometimes scientists have speculated that the box both may exist and not exist, leading to a well-known thought experiment, Schrodinger's Mime. <laughs> we'll send the patient for treatment in our psychiatry. Boris wants a promotion, he can have it. New illness, lycanthropy discovered. The doctors have discovered a new illness, lycanthropy. Once thought to be exempt, extinct, lycanthropy is making a comeback in dangerous forests across the land. Sufferers get it from direct exposure to light from the full moon or possibly from door handles. Research is ongo ongoing to discover which. We'll send them to the pharmacy. But there's one of our people who needs treating in a clown clinic. See if we can find somebody with lycanthropy. Said they were going to the pharmacy, which is over here. He's got misery guts. Right, where's this clown clinic? Watch somebody being treated in it. Oh no, you've got to make them miserable. And that apparently fixes them. Doctor's GP's office. Make this area a bit prettier, shall we? Bin down. Let's and then the all important the benches. Face. And its namesake semi-solid. I wouldn't recommend eating anything but when you're there, not least to avoid disparaging looks. Let's watch one of these guys get cured. Seeing eating anything with a discernible texture, it's a special moment for any poinchon child to select a spoon and head to the flavor gazebo to make that first order. Mine was half pistachio. That challenge. He wants three promotions. Press the VIP, he wants to do another inspection. Right. We need some more staff. So first of all, janitors. We've got somebody who can upgrade. Yeah, you'll do. Nobody needs to talk to a janitor, doesn't matter if you're boring. Um to get another nurse. Terribly dull and motivated, will work for peanuts. Natural mentor, right. We'll get two actually. We'll have you and you. 
and then we'll get another doctor at least. Green fingers. And he's got a high salary. Oh, we need a new psychiatrist, you'll do. Didn't cure enough of the patients. We only cured two out of the seven. Oh, it must have taken too long. But well, hospital is starting to get busier. You see everybody waiting at the GPs. Make these high priority rooms, shall we? There. Well, that should prioritise GPs over everything else. So I will be back in a second. I will leave you watching the craziness of the hospital for a sec. There we go. So we've got inspection report. One of the better destinations, but we're all right. Tired of thinking for yourself. So, hmm. Wish you could donate training. Your money. Who needs training? Ah, join the Orb Foundation today. Janitor. The Orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. And you could deal with ghosts. More often, this Train is all of our janitors to deal with ghosts, shall we? And we'll get our other janitor to do it. So it costs us less. you have bed face 79% I'm sure there's a way I can change that it's under policies or something yes we'll whack you up a bit change the Q1 in turn to 10 low diagnosis staff to send patients directly for treatment with a diagnosis certainly it's above a yeah, so we'll stick that on so they don't have to go to the GP if they reach 100%. That might save us a few people. So I might build another GPs to be honest. Being as we're starting to get ghost piss and stuff everywhere. No worries, Truett. Enjoy your days off.
So if we go to here, staff promotion, yeah, you can be promoted. See you in a bit, Trevor. So the two point circus left their cages unlocked and all of the clowns have escaped. They were last spotted heading in our direction on tiny bicycles. If we can deal with the clowns, then I'm sure the circus will reward us. Cure eight patients with chest infection in the clown clinic. Yeah, we'll do that. He wants hospital attractiveness of 70%. It's only this bad at the moment because of all the ghost piss and stuff everywhere. Though through my contacts in the green grossing community, I've started sourcing carrots as big as a leg and as sweet Where as have all my janitors gone? Sensational. If I knew any better, I'd say they were designed rather than grown. <laughs> Kudos to the farmers down in Camouflage Falls. Yeah, I think I need more janitors with how busy this place is getting. Doctor's GP's office. Uh, inspiring, works for peanuts, has potential. Can deal with ghosts and upgrades. Yes, we'll have you. There we've got. Thinks their life is a rom com and is boring, but he's good at maintenance and upgrades. Yes, we'll have you as well. So we've got our first person threatening to resign. Ace Quiche is unhappy and threatening to quit because they're underpaid, very thirsty and desperate for the toilet. I'll hire another assistant then, that'll give him time to rest. Got all these people going crazy. Got another person dead. Now if he turns into a ghost, these people are all going to go mental. But he didn't, so we're good, for now anyway. So... Another janitor, how many have we got now? Six janitors, we're going to get another assistant. Bunny, boy next door. Good customer services. Yeah, we'll have you, shall we? We'll send you on a break. Um, pay review. Oh yeah, you're underpaid compared to the rest of them. Stick you up to, to eight grand. That should make them happy. Well done, successfully completed just because we tidied the place up a bit and junior assistant is staying. Right, so what can we upgrade? We should be able to upgrade a few of these machines now at least. Upgrade the easy scan. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. There. So we just need to train one more staff and we've met our two star goal. So, not you. Who can we train with? Janitors, nurses, doctors. Train our junior nurse. And we'll give you ward management to make you better at that. And that will give us our two star hospital. Despite the absolute mess that is this GP area.
There we are, Esther can get promoted. Typical as well, the moment Truer says try not to kill anyone, kill anyone, they'll start dropping like flies. Let's see what awards we get this year. So, Alex is Doctor of the Year again. Annabelle Quack is Nurse of the Year. Esther is a rising star. We got Employer of the Year, Most Prestigious, and Our Patient's Choice. But all we're missing is Best Teaching and No Deaths. No, we've got no chance of that one. So. Report seven out of eight. We did all right there. Pharmacy, Once this person gets trained, we'll have our two star hospital. Let's just watch this mess for a few minutes. So Annabelle wants us to cure 10 patients in 90 days. Hey, we're a two star, we're a one star hospital. So congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Get rather good at this I see, but showing signs of an ability to develop staff within. How terribly promising, which is to say how terrible. Stay there to nurture this fledgling plant or abandon it altogether and move on to pastures new in our chilly northern region. So this in actually unlocks two new hospitals for us to play with. A reception and a clown poster. So we'll continue with this to get it to two star. So we're going to get hospital to level nine, promote and train six staff. That's pretty easy. And what I am going to do for is get us another GP room. See if we can't the knock these cues the down a bit. My birth. Needless to say, today's show will honor the man of the hour, the heartbeat of this county, and the crown jewel of true Some windows in on this side. Me, Sir Nigel Bickleworth. There, another GP's office. the only plant in benches down and a plant there and a plant there so I think we should improve the GP skill of some of these people it will get the queues down quicker courses available mm. general practice train these two and you'll be fastest, so you'll do. See, the better the GP skill is, the faster they are with it as well. And the better the diagnosis is. So occasionally you might get somebody come in, see their GP in it, and immediately go to 100%. Yeah, we can promote you. There we go, the VIP was all right with us. They want to drop by and see uh, see what they can do. Kill this. We have there. The the radio reporters visiting. Look, another one. Trained. 
can we do any more upgrades to stuff while we're waiting? You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. I can hear people dropping like flies. Are they all just waiting in these queues? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Oh, we can upgrade that to a level 3. We'll do that. Yay, GP course is fixed. Finished. Should speed things up a bit. I cannot help but think back to those birthdays of yesteryear and the sepia days of my youth. Breaking in a freshly opened hoop and stick. Right, let's do some more training. Swallowing her favorite marble. Treatment two. Housing in the parlor. The air. Yeah, we'll the put the nurse on treatment two. Dick. Ah, those are some of my favorites. It's usually better hiring people to do it because it's much quicker. So I'm just going to do that. Let's keep more people on the job as well. Oh look, Katie is beating me for high mo highest morale. Clear, look, a ghost. Get everybody around here panic. Staff training required. Animal Quack wants to be promote wants to be trained. And our visitor was quite happy with her visit. Yeah, GP's queues aren't so bad now. They'll go down pretty quickly. Nurse wanted on the ward. Yeah, those queues got a bit too big. We've just got people dying all over now. Training required. You can wait a bit, but we'll promote you. You know what? I'm tempted to make yet another GP's office just to see if that will help a bit. If in doubt, spam extra rooms. There, another GP's office. See everything's starting to get real really hectic now. So all we need now for the two stars is some training and promotions. Yeah, that spread things out a bit more, that's miles more better. Yeah, I think we can afford another doctor. Let's get one. Um, you're pretty good GP. 
Positive Henry, yeah, as long as we keep your fed, you're all right. You'll do. Has been investigating the state of our local Eddie Vape has been promoted. Cure 20 patients. Cure 4 with Misery Guts. Yeah, that's fine with me. But training, who was wanting training before? Well, let's get Maddie Vape trained up to deal with ghosts, shall we? Don't have ghosts available. Hmm. That's because you're an assistant. Yeah, well, give me another level in customer services. There we go. We've got these people going straight to the pharmacy. Let's see if we can't bump them up in the queue. Oh no, they're already there. Oh, we should be good. Forgot to make those two high priority rooms as well. Staff training required, you want training now. What can we train you in mechanics? Prime motivation. We'll get a couple of the other janitors in on it. Sure, 180%, 130. 40, 165. Yeah, we'll just hire somebody a bit miles faster. Candles from Wickwalk, Flemington's premier vendor of candles and East. There we go, we're getting equipment. much Light better queues now. Burn. Persistent. Now, this is only psychiatry, you've got a long queue at the moment, but fragrant. everything else is alright. Still got people dropping like flies as well, but he wants us to earn 200 grand, we could probably do that. Cured one out of four. Didn't do too well there. Promote you. KT is still smashing us on cures per year as well. Promote you. I just want that six promotions for the next star level. Failed to cure 20 patients. There we go, one more promotion and we're at two star hospital. Should not take long. Hey look, promotion. 
And we are done. There's our two stars. Well, congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a two-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Greater success gives birth to greater expectations. Everyone wants to see their supposed wants their supposedly fair share. I'm curious to see how you cope as hungry employees begin to eat away at you like sock-wearing parasites from within. Best wishes to the whole gang down at Flottering. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin Foxbridge. So we've got some extra cash, some extra points to spend, and we've unlocked upgrades for those two machines. So. As we're at the two star, and getting the three star is really boring. It is literally just a matter, matter of time and spamming stuff. I am going to leave stuff there for tonight. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I'm going to find somebody to raid. And so um, another day begins in Two Point County, where students at the Mitten School of Medicine may soon be able to practice on actual living people. Any budding doctors should remember that gluing heads back on to accidentally decapitated patients is all very well with dummies. So those are the new hospitals we've unlocked for next time. And they like to invite us to use Remix or Rendered Environments of Medical Intrigue. Software that simulates hospital management. Used to train the county's administrators of the future. Software needs to analyse existing hospitals. So that's just for like test stuff for new things they're bringing in. So we got two stars here. I'll go and get the third star off stream. And then we will come back and we'll pick one of these two to do. Either Tumble, where we've got breaks and bruises, or Mitten, where it's all about research and teaching. But let's have a look for somebody to raid, shall we? So let's see who's online. Is there anybody I know streaming at the moment? Have a look here. Oh, Wolf King Mike is streaming. Let's go and say, drop by to Wolf King Mike and see how he's doing. <laughs> yeah, I try to do nice chilled out ones. Thanks for dropping by everybody. Uh, I will be back on again this Saturday at half five GMT. And I'll be carrying on with carrying then. So feel free to drop by if you want to see monsters eating stuff constantly. And people screaming and run away, running away. But let's go and raid Mike now. Bye everybody and thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.